Hi everybody, uh, Nigel here, YouTubeGo.uk. Um, now then, I'm uh, uh, at home at the moment, um, and I've been um, out to buy a new lawnmower because uh, that's what we needed. Now, then, the trouble is, we went out a couple of nights ago. Uh, myself and Tyler went down the shop and uh, bought the lawnmower. Uh, we bought it back. Um, had a guy come around this morning to uh, set it all up for us and to build it and lo and behold having built it it's not the one that we chose from the shop so the shop in question is B&Q in Spalding so I'm going to take this uh, lawnmower back to them and just see what uh, what it is they've got to say for themselves um, now just to uh, give you a quick, uh, quick bit of footage on the actual mower itself and I'll tell you the differences between the one we wanted and the one we've actually got so to start with, this is a Mountfield lawnmower, as you can see, brand new, still got all the things on, haven't put any oil or anything in it yet, um, and the model is the SP454, um, according to the front of it, and obviously also according to the box. Now then, um, the main thing about it is that it's 140cc, um, we've had a Mountfield before, and it was very, very good, um, so I don't have problems with these, it's got a two year warranty, grass box, collector and all that sort of bits and pieces. Um, the only thing it doesn't have, and if I just run up here, all right, you will see that on this area just here, right, there should be a um, uh, uh, an area that you can actually set the speed. So just by, you know, setting a little speed, you'll see what I mean when I get to the shop and show you the one in there. Um, and that's specifically why we wanted the model that we wanted. Um, and that was because uh, Tyler, now being the age he is, um, is going to start to cut the lawn for us. So in doing so, obviously we want something that he can set the speed at and then he can just go up and down. So basically um, it, it's, it's almost like an automatic. Um, this particular one, I understand, I believe um, that it will vary the control by um, vary the speed by the use of um, this uh, speed um, thing here um, now there was another one in the shop that we considered getting um, which was actually I think a little bit better the reason we didn't get it was because that also had this variable speed thing and I want him to be able to just set the speed and just be able to go up and down so he's not got that to worry about um, and I say that's that's why we chose the model we did um, so I say when they've when they've come this morning um, Jet guys come this morning he's built it all for us set it all up so they are ready to go and I said no that's not the that's not the one we wanted so I'm about to pop it back in the car um, and uh, take it back to B&Q now that in itself is a bit of a feat um, but anyway here we go I'll uh, get it loaded and uh, I'll see you again when we get to B&Q in Spalding Right, we've just arrived at uh, Spalding B&Q and I'm just going to go in now and see what they've got to say about this uh, mess up with the lawnmower. First off is what I'm going to do is just go down and show you the selection of lawnmowers um, that they'd actually got, uh, the ones that we chose from. Just alter the lighting as we're going into the shop. I'm sure I need these on now, that's better I can see. It's uh, SP454, which is exactly the same model as the one that we've actually got. Okay, um, as you can see the engine looks a little bit different. And uh, if you come up to the top, onto the handles there, there is the speed control which is not um, on the one that we've actually got. Um, and you can see quite a bit of the price there. So I've got a shadow there. All right. So without any further ado, I'm now gonna go and ask to see the manager and see if we can sort out something, okay. I'm Nigel, I'm from YouTubeo.uk. Hello, Nigel. Um, um, is it possible I can have a quick word with your manager? It's just with regard to a lawnmower that we purchased from here the other day. Okay, right, I've spoken to the manager, um, young lady, and uh, they didn't wish to be filmed, um, which is fair enough, and they didn't wish to uh, have what they said on display either. We've come back down to the lawnmower section, have a look at the ones that are here on display. Um, and as I say, the ones in the boxes uh, 
again the box is not showing that they've actually got that that display on it um, sorry that uh, the ones in the boxes aren't showing they've got that manual throttle control she's gone off to see if she can find any more or anything like that um, she has turned around and said that they could offer me the display model um, with potential some, some money off it or something like that so uh, we'll wait for her to come back and see what happens but so far everything's good right okay i'm back at the car um and just unloading this one here they've got the display model one um so what we're going to do is a basically just do a straight swap um this is that one there should be loaded into the car um and they're going to do a straight swap and um uh, i'm going to get the other one and they did say they're going to knock uh, a few quid off uh, so give me a refund of about 13 quid or something like that for the inconvenience so all in all not bad okay Hi everyone, right, it's Nigel here. Um, not such good news at the end of all that. Uh, the display model that they actually had, uh, had some bits missing off of it, so they couldn't let me have it. So what they have actually done is done a refund. Uh, when I pointed out that uh, that meant I wasn't really getting anything for any inconvenience cause, uh, they did give me a £10 gift voucher to spend here at B&Q, or obviously at any other B&Q, uh, B&Q, um, uh, at any point that I really obviously want to. So uh, yeah, I got a £10 gift voucher out of it, but uh, now I've still got to go out and find myself a lawnmower. So there we go.